So the Milwaukee Bucks are signing Myers Leonard to a 10-day contract. He has not played in the league in a couple years now, and that is because he had a shoulder injury, and then he said a racial slur, got traded to the Thunder and cut, and then everyone just didn't want to be the team to sign him because of the racial slur, he said. So let's look at their roster. They have Giannis, obviously, playing that power forward spot with Brick Lopez next to him, Brook Lopez next to him at the starting center. Then after that, they don't have a backup center, and that's because they traded away, uh, what's his name? They traded away Serge Ibaka, who's a free agent now, not really getting any looks, which kind of sucks for him. They also have Bobby, Bobby Portis, who basically is their backup center. I don't really know why he's listed as a power forward. In my opinion, he is a center, but he's listed as a power forward this year. 14.5 points per game, 27 minutes. So he plays quite a bit, and he's a pretty good player. And then Myers Leonard would kind of be that backup center or maybe that third stringer, depending on where they play Bobby Portis. I like the signing. I think Myers Leonard has been kind of hated on ever since he said that slur, which, yeah, makes sense. But he hasn't played since 2021 or 2020. Yeah, it would have been 2020 because he played three games that year, started two of them with the Heat, and he only got 10 minutes per game. That's kind of interesting. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Three and a half points per game, but over his career, it's like a five-point-per-game score, so five, six points per game. Decent. Played with the Blazers for a while, then Miami for two years. And his best year, he was at eight and a half point per game score. I don't think he can really shoot the three ball. No, he doesn't really shoot it a ton. Over the past couple of years, he was shooting pretty high percentage, honestly. Yeah, two and a half attempts per game in 2020. Made 41 and a half percent, so that's actually really good. But pretty low percentage. He's going to be 31 in a couple of days. So getting up there in age, and this is kind of, it's now or never to get back in the league for him. And it looks like he is back with the Milwaukee Bucks. I don't know how much of an opportunity they're going to give him. I hope that they actually give him an opportunity. Kind of reminds me of last year when they signed DeMarcus Cousins, but then they kind of randomly waived him when they, I guess they traded for Serge Ibaka, so that was probably why. So I hope that for his sake that he does well there. He's definitely one of the strongest players in the NBA, other than the time that LeBron bodied him really bad that one time, dunked it. He's pretty solid, pretty strong dude. I like the signing for the Bucks. Bucks are winning franchise for a reason because they make smart moves like this. So, uh, yeah, definitely let me you know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below on this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, turn notification most to all. See you guys next time. Peace.